Hey guys, Lord Naren White here, the Holy Ghost, the one true God. Back with you with today's Daily Diary video. As usual, before I discuss what I've achieved since yesterday's Daily Diary video, I want to read you a chapter from the Bible. Today it will be the first book of Moses called Genesis, chapter 34. And Dina, the daughter of Leah, which she bore unto Jacob, went out to see the daughters of the land. And when Setram, the son of Hamor, the Hivite, prince of the country, saw her, he took her and lay with her and defiled her. And his soul clave unto Dina, the daughter of Jacob, and he loved the damsel, and spake kindly unto the damsel. And Shechem spake unto, the fa unto his father Hamor, saying, Get me this damsel to wife. And Jacob heard that he had defiled Dina, his daughter. Now his sons were with his cattle in the field, and Jacob held his peace until they were come. And Hamor, the father of Shechem, went out with unto Jacob to commune with him. And the sons of Jacob came out of the field when they heard it, and the men were grieved. And they were very wroth, because he had wrought folly, wrought folly in Israel in lying with Jacob's daughter, which thing ought not to be done. And Hamor communed with them, saying, The soul of my son Sechem longeth for your daughter. I pray you give her to him to wife, and, ye ma and make ye marriages with us, and give you your daughters unto us, and take our daughters unto you. And ye shall dwell with us, and the land shall be before you. Dwell and trade ye therein and get you possessions therein. And Setchim said unto her father and unto her brother, Let me find grace in your eyes, and what ye shall say unto me will I will give. And ask, ask me never so much dowry and gift, and I will give according as ye shall say unto me, but give me the damsel to wife. And the sons of Jacob answered Setchim and Hamor his father deceitfully, and said, Because he had defiled Dinah their sister. And they said unto him, We cannot do this thing to give our sister to one that is uncircumcised, for that were a reproach unto us. But in this we will consent unto you. If you will be as we be, that every male of you be, be circumcised, then will we give our daughters unto you, and will we take your daughters to us, uh, and we will dwell with you, and we will become one people. But if you hearken not unto us to be circumcised, then will we take our daughter, and we will be gone. And their words pleased Hamor, and Setchem Hamor's son. The young man deferred not to do the thing, because he had delight in Jacob's daughter, and he was more honorable than all the house of his father. And Hamor and Setchem came unto the gate of their city, and communed with the men of their city, saying, These men are peaceable with us, therefore let them dwell in the land, and trade therein. For the land, behold, it is large enough for them. Let us take their daughters to us for wives, or let, them give, or, or let us give them our daughters. Only herein will the men consent unto us for to dwell with us, to be one people, if every male amongst, among us be circumcised, as they are circumcised. Shall not their cattle and their substance and every beast of theirs be ours? Only let us consent unto them, and they will dwell with us. And unto Hamor and unto Setchem his son hearkened all that went out of the gate of his city, and every male was circumcised, and all that went out of the gate of his city. And it came to pass on the third day, when they were sore, the two of the sons of Jacob, Simeon and Levi, Dinah's brethren, took each man his sword, and came upon the city boldly, and slew all the males. And they slew Hamor. And Sechem, his son, with the edge of the sword, and took Dinah out of Sechem's house, and went out. The sons of Jacob came upon the slain, and spoiled the city, because they had defiled their sister. They took their sheep, and their oxen, and their asses, and that which was in the city, and that which was in the field, and all their wealth, and all their little ones, and all their wives they took captive, took, took they captive, and spoiled even all that was in the house. And Jacob said to Simeon and Levi, Ye have troubled me to make troubled me to make me stink among the inhabitants of the land, among the Canaanites and the Pezizites, Perizzites, and I being few in number, they shall gather themselves together against me and slay me. And I shall be destroyed, I and my house. And they said, Should he deal with our sister as with an heart? The word. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I want to go ahead and um, get some analysis of this chapter.
Yeah, with, it is without a doubt. The language of this text makes it clear it is rape. Without a doubt, you see here. And when Sechem, the son of Hamor, the Hivite, prince of the country, saw her, so Sechem is the son of the prince of the country, Hamor, uh, he took her. Let me see if, if Sechem is the prince. I think, I think Sechem is the prince, yeah, yeah, and Hamor is the king. The city's ruler, Hamor, yep. Because they've purchased land outside the city's rule. You know, outside, yeah. Outside of the city, yeah. Eventually it goes wrong with the Shechemites and, the, and, Jake, and, and Jacob's family. So Shechem rapes Dina. And it says, And his soul clave unto Dina, the daughter of Jacob, and he loved the damsel, and spake kindly unto the damsel. And he spake unto his father Hamor, saying, Get me this damsel to wife. And in the end, after whatever agreement is made, Simeon and Levi, Jacob's sons, Dina's brethren, took each man his sword and came upon the city boldly and slew all the males. And they slew Hamor and Shechem his son with the edge of the sword and took Dina out of Shechem's house and went out. The sons of Jacob came upon the slain and spoiled the city because they had defiled their sister. And very, very powerful is this exchange of which I want to go ahead and take, take a little bit of time to, to analyze. And Jacob said unto Simeon and Levi, said to Simeon and Levi, Ye have troubled me to make me stink among the inhabitants of the land, among the Canaanites and the Perizzites. And I, being few in number, they shall gather themselves together against me and slay me, and I shall be destroyed, I and my house. And they said, should he deal with our sister as with our harlot? This is very powerful because the idea of the women of these men being raped and um, it, it is, is a theme that goes on through this, this book, to, through the initial uh, chapters of the Bible. Abraham suffers so when Abimelech, uh, his initial intention with, with, with you know, the Egyptians... Um, Excuse me, it was the Egyptians, I believe. Uh, they, he, he says, say, he says to Sarai, say that you're, say that she's his sister, so that they don't kill Abram and take Sarai. Same thing happens to Isaac, where Isaac tells Rebecca, pray. That, you know, he says to Abimelech's men, this is his sister, and Abimelech says, no, we need to rectify that and to correct that. This, it's okay that you stay here, and they make a covenant of you. And now in this case. Jacob's only daughter, Dina, is actually raped by, by Shechem, the prince, um, under Hamor. And Simeon and Levi kill all the men and kill Shechem and Hamor for the act. And Jacob, whether it's pragmatic, whether it's cowardly, it's unclear. I refuse to offer an analysis of this. Whether Jacob is being wise or cowardly, I don't know. Because the exact words are, Ye have troubled me to make me stink among the inhabitants of the land, among the Canaanites and the Perizzites, and I being few in number, they shall gather themselves together against me and slay me, and I shall be destroyed, I and my house. It's very powerful because, again, I have no analysis of what the correct decision here is here. You know, not having any children yet, I, I don't want to offer an analysis. And very powerful, the sons say, and, and they said, should he deal with our sister as with an harlot? So saying, they need to respect that name, that he is an Israelite. And it's a very fascinating start to the, the, what will be the legendary tale of the Israelite people. Yeah. This, this, this time with the Old Testament is amazing. You know, they... They are the sons of, you know, sons of Adam. Of course, I believe that all people of the world are sons of Noah, Shem, and Japheth. But the Israelites trace their history back to Abraham and Isaac and Jacob directly. And uh, it's very powerful um, because even though it's very different from the origins of Christianity, which is Lord Jesus Christ and His sacrifice 
on um, his incomparable sacrifice and of course Naren Jealousy very different different faiths where the Holy Ghost is here forever the immortality of Lord Naren Y. John 14 16 you know that I will fight forever for my people fight to shield and build Our faith, which again I talk about in the Gospel of Lord Naren White, means more and more and more sons and daughters to serve and you know, follow the law. And as long as you follow the law and do the right thing at the right time, which is to work with sincerity and focus, there's nothing to worry about. Amen. So, with that in mind, I'm going to go ahead and end the Bible uh, video uh, here for today. Go ahead now and transition over to what I have achieved since yesterday's Daily Dara video. <sighs> since yesterday's Daily Dara video, I uploaded and published uh, my Daily Dara video uh, from 4 22 I uploaded and scheduled my workout video from 4 22 I worked my uh, software developer job. Uh, now I've created this Daily Dara video. And I want to go ahead and say thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed. Please like, comment, and subscribe. As a great helps the channel. Light be with you all. Take care and thanks again.